been over Thank you time. so much, Your Honor. Here you How are we today, uh, Judge Braun? Oh, I'm just great. I'm having a blast. How are you? I, I you think Murphy's I'm actually fucking okay. brain dead. Thanks it's actually for crazy. For Holy He's fuck. Not How as dumb as are you, bro? Uh, Holy shit. I mean, it's true that you don't have okay. Listen to these questions. any further memory of that event. Isn't that right? That's what I said. All right. Now, you testified that your phone was stolen. At what point did you lose your phone? Oh, I don't know, Mr. Hall. Okay, and can you testify that someone stole your phone? I can testify that it was missing when I woke up, and okay. I had been shot. All right. Yeah, fuck, and, and bitch. let's just clarify. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> if you had given your phone while you were blacked out at that point, would you be able to testify that it was stolen? I don't know why I would give my phone to anyone, Mr. Hall. I think that's a stupid question. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, stupid ass bitch! Oh. Fuck you, Oliver! Uh, objection really asked and answered. Oh, I'm gonna come over here. Fuck you, Oliver. Fuck you. Shit, he heard. I hope you die! The, the I hope you get that. shot after this! And die! Rami, what oh, are you shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, my bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My In bad, Minecraft. my bad. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. My bad. I don't see uh -huh. it. it my phone was blowing up. My fault. My fault. Am I, am I that right that is, no, 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 you're not. Holy Your fuck. Honor, can we request a drug test? No, I was shouting. I didn't uh, mean to uh, shout. No, Oliver, I am so sorry. I, I don't know. Guys, that was just like, I don't know what just occurred there. My fault. Go wow, ahead. is Rami going to get a PED test? After <laughs> I was yelling. Now? Bro, I was test. yelling on accident. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. that. I love you. I did that earlier. That's what going to be on because I, I frankly, sorry, I don't hear you. Your Honor, your Honor, my apologies, Your Honor. That's... I don't know. It was an outburst. Thing, uh, it was a... He might need a few more performance in the haze. <laughs> really, if this is his stand in the haze, qualify right My now. bad, Your Honor. My bad. I mean, I'm not. It's I'm just kind of like the Lakers and the Celtics right now. Go ahead, huh. Oliver. I mean, I stand on business, bitch. Just wait. Wait. wait am I? Am I writing that down? Wait, right, there is an objection. No, 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 yeah, Your Honor. There's an objection. Yeah, Your Honor. There's an objection. Yeah, objection. Okay. No, you're not writing it down. My, okay. My uh, rebuttal to that. Objection. I hope you die, Oliver. You fucking bitch. I never asked. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Mr. Aram is being quite loud and has been throughout this proceeding. I'm just going to say. Your Honor, I haven't even said away, anything, so Your Honor. Wait, I, did you mean to whisper that to him? I haven't. Know? I haven't. <laughs> He's been whispering <laughs> to me throughout to the whisper. entire time. Your Honor, I haven't said anything this entire time, Your Honor. I've been, I've been quiet. I've been just watching this entire court case, Your Honor. I haven't done anything. I will not sit here and be bashed and, and disrespected by the prosecution. Hey, Rami, didn't you just ask if your own client was uh, dumb and stupid? Your Honor, that was a murmur, uh, and it wasn't to the people of the courts, respectfully, Your Honor. I was underprivileged. It was underprivileged. <laughs> Your Honor, I was just... Yeah, it was underprivileged, Your Honor. That's funny. Your Honor, if I may All for right. a minute. Hey. Hey, oh, Ow, right, you die, it. Oliver, uh, you dumb bitch! <clears throat> what was that, Flop? Go ahead. Oh, Go ahead. Wasn't, wasn't Robbie <laughs> asked to sit down at the beginning of this court case? Hey, and I, allowed him, I allowed him to lean, that's fine. Okay. On his dick. On his god dick. What? All right. Hey, hold on. Hey, yes. Could yeah. you actually? Could we back up like yeah. three, four minutes to ask what was happening here? Certainly. The question. That I, I hate asked you so much, Oliver. I hope point. you die. And there was an objection to ask and answer. <laughs> this question wasn't asked by either party. Uh, so I'm not entirely actually, sure how. It... That is incorrect, per the stenographer. Thank you so much, Kermy. Thank you, actually, Kermit. all right. I'm sorry then, Mr. Stenographer. I actually, should clarify. Uh, Your Honor, it's simply not asked, our fault for the prosecution not paying attention. Asked, excuse me. It was asked. Would you be able to testify if your stolen your phone was stolen if you had given it to someone while you were blacked out? Mr. Braun said, "I wouldn't give my phone to anyone. I think that's a stupid question." Thank you so much. It was then asked, "So mm -hmm. could you testify if you gave your phone to someone?" At which point, it was asked and answered, objectified. Uh, I'll, Oliver, sit down. Just, just, just. Sorry, Your Honor. Just sit the down. The question Oliver. was, who stole your phone? Not um, if you had given his phone away. Uh, Your Honor, yeah, I'll just let you handle this one. You, you, you take it away. The defense hey, hey, has a rebuttal uh, necessary, Your Honor. I'm not going back and forth this too much anymore. All right. The question asked, who stole it? Mr. Brom response was testify that was missing when he woke up and that it was who we shot. He didn't give an actual answer when the question was asked, can you testify that someone stole it? He just said it was missing. We keep going back and forth about the technicalities of stolen. So 
Let me just back up here. Huh? When you ask the question, uh, if he testified that someone stole, he said, I don't know, Mr. Hall. Can you testify if someone stole it? I can testify it was missing. Who stole it? And you said, object. Uh, there was an objection, asked and answered. I don't think at any point during this did he actually name someone or say that he does not recall who that individual may be. So, for the court's purposes, I'm going to ask the question. Mr. Braun, was, was your phone missing or was it stolen? Uh, when I awoke at the hospital, I did not have a phone on my person and have since not recovered it. Thank you, Judge. May I continue? Yes, you may. Go ahead. Wait. Right. I, I wanted to move on a little bit, but um, if you can, how has your employment been affected by the investigation into you? Uh, objection relevance? Wait, hold on. It's kind of low key helps us. The fuck? Does it not help us? That question of how is this yeah. appointment affected? What? Does yeah. it not help yeah. us? How is it helps us a little bit, but I'm fucking with Oliver. Uh, We're just fucking well, with Oliver. Where is it going? We want, him, we want him on tilt. Okay, and there's an objection. So. Yeah, can we actually sidebar for that uh, objection, Judge? Just over here. Uh, your there's shot. approach there. Hey, what's going on, guys? <laughs> Hi, I hope you're well. You look good. Thank you, thank you. Your visor looks nice. Wonderful. Sorry, I'm sure in the rest of a while here we came over this way, but no, sir, I, I just wouldn't want the, That's fine. the witness to hear. Uh, <laughs> this, this has to go is stressing me the fuck out. There's no bench involved. Th this goes towards impeachment of the witness, your honor, and his credibility. It's establishing a reason for him what? to lie in the interrogations and his testimony. Your honor, I would say one thing to you right now. You and I Ooh, both lucky, know how serious it. Oliver's accusation is, and that's a question for a much higher authority like the Chief Justice, and I think that is really, really out of fucking pocket. I'm going to keep it straight to fucking facts here. Oh, hey, hey, Listen, Your Honor, hey, I'm just going to be keeping hey, a stack 1,000 hey, with hey, you. Hey, 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 Fuck you, Oliver! Oh. Fuck you, Oliver! Oh, I got Rami, oh, chill! Rami. Ouch. How hey, dare you say some shit like that? to add here, please return back to your seat over there. Now, in terms of who it's appropriate for or not, I do not appreciate the comment being made to say that I am not an appropriate person to judge or to actually That's rule on something not like what she that. Meant. That is completely disrespectful. That's not what she meant, uh, Your Honor. I'm pretty sure that judges get deported uh, for corruption, Your Honor. Your Honor, Your Honor. Here, That's all I uh, meant. Let me, let me make the case for us, all right? There uh, is something outside of that. We are entirely looking at the information that is being presented here. Okay, this can, man's can, can I rebuttal? memory has been impacted. Yes, go ahead. Can I rebuttal? We literally just established that he hasn't committed absolutely zero crimes this entire time. Okay? This is what we're actually trying to figure out, if there was a crime committed or not. It doesn't matter. A serial killer can still be accused of something that's a serial killer for the first damn crime afterwards, and he had nothing else to do with 25 years before that. Your Someone Honor, has to do a Your crime Honor, at some point in time, they were just born into it. Your Honor, he wants to impeach a witness that's literally, uh, impeach somebody that's, this whole court case is uh, uh, literally about. What, 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 yeah, you're honor? trying to impeach the defendant, Your you're Honor. Trying, you can't impeach a defendant. I, I mean, like, it's a right to speak here? out in his own defense. And, and, Go ahead, Oliver. Hold thank on. You. Hold thank on. You. Your Honor, Mr. we Hall, please certainly speak. can impeach the credibility of the defendant. Why are you always defense? smiling, Just bitch ass? Oh, my God, bro. Rami? You're lucky you Bailey's here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping you're not respond. Right. Hold you're lucky Bailey's here. You're lucky Bailey's here, Oliver. All right. I'm going to keep talking. Yes, we certainly can impeach the credibility of the defendant in this case. And we're doing so by establishing a motivation to lie. His employment was affected by the investigation. <laughs> you can hear it on the interrogation, which Ooh. I plan to get into, that he starts complaining and um, it gets quite aggravated with the investigators about the interrogation. And I'm trying to establish that his employment and the effect of his employment is a motivation for him to lie and to provide inaccurate inf information to investigators and to potentially lie in the state. I'm a girl. Nobody even pays attention to what he just said. Forward to you making Your Honor, the same arguments about every other judge, all of them, and how kindly they listen, look upon you. Listen, every witness who's ever been on the stand... please. Every witness who's ever been on the stand has a potential motivation to lie or change their testimony or anything else. The fact that and everyone has a stake in every trial, there's no reason to go into this with Mr. Braun, and there's no reason to go into this with any witness. If he has concrete evidence that there's a reason to impeach him, then impeach him. If there's not, then why go fishing for some uh, reason that doesn't exist or that any witness who's ever been on the stand has uh, 
you know, the same possibility. Well, we know why, Sebastian, but we're not going to say because Judge oh. Bailey's here, you know? Can I give you one more, re one more All right, No, 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 no. I I'm done with these back and forth right now. I'm going to go ahead and roll on this. I will not be impeaching him, frankly, because, yes, that statement does entirely hold true. You can technically, as he did say, and I will agree with that, you can fish for anybody with a motivation to lie as long as they're on the fence. By that def actual argument itself, everyone that comes up here at any point in time would have that we would no longer have a justice system whatsoever. You're not, I'd like to motion that he's malicious prosecutioning. I don't care. Go ahead. Go back. Ask the damn question. Stop being petty with everything. All For right? real. That's it. Ask the All damn right. question. Shut the fuck up and stop being petty. You heard him. No, so everybody. That's including yourself. Right? He's talking to you, fucking so dumbass. Just be clear, Yana. What was the ruling on the objection? You guys are going to throw this fucking case because of Oliver. Sebastian, shut get up. Jesus, get, let right? him get out of your fucking Oliver. head. Shut let up, get Sebastian. Out of your, why are you... Okay, you're letting him get to you. Sebastian, shut up. I, I cannot understand it. We don't give a fuck about Murphy. Fucking, you, stop listen, being a fucking baby. We don't fucking care about Murphy at this point. Welcome to my time. I know don't you don't. Know that. I can Just fucking tell that. Stop being a goddamn It's about baby. beating Oliver. Oliver. It's about beating Oliver, beat Oliver at this point. Put in Bark and Blade. Stop oh, yeah. doing this shit and fucking over Murphy. Oh, yeah. get, 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 shut the fuck up, Sebastian. You don't like it. Go help him out. I'm, I'm gonna murder all of you. This is a this is a Lance Molden conversation. <laughs> Wait, mm -hmm. I will. Also, please Where's stop Lance? pushing me and Angel, please. I'm sorry. You guys look really cozy together. Oh, you don't like touching me? Wow. That's not at all. Why don't you like touching me? Hey, hey, what was that all about over here? What's that? What just occurred? I told them just go ahead and restate what they were asking beforehand, so that everybody is privy to Sounds the information. Sounds good, Your Honor. Sounds good. That was it. Sorry. Sorry, you never Rami, know. You know, you know how return. snaky this dumbass is. Fuck you, Rami. Oliver. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, so again, Judge Bro, how has your employment we been affected by the investigation? Of Objection, Your Honor. Scope. We never buttered up in our questioning on Murphy. And once again, your rebuttal, just so we can restart this process. Absolutely, Your Honor. It was previously covered. They had asked him about his employment as a judge. When he got sworn in, they asked him follow-up questions. Well, his, Your Honor, uh, he objected to that whole line of questioning. He said it's an interrogation. It goes back to December 17th. Your Honor, if I can finish, it was entered into the record. His employment as a judge was brought up. I'm simply following up on that in this cross-examination. Uh, so it's certainly not outside of the scope. Your Honor, it actually got removed from the record back to our, his original objection of December Hold 17th. On. I'm just double checking the uh, the record here. Kermit, if you could do this for me as well. Um, yeah. So when uh when we went into the December seventeenth stuff, uh, when mommy tried to start that line of questioning, it was objected to, mm. and then it was stated by cool. the courts. It was stated by the courts that they would uh they would hold off on that objection, and it was basically like uh it was left on the table, and they would determine it at a later time. Mm. Uh, it, well, mm -hmm. Rami actually didn't continue that line of questioning. He actually moved on to a different line of questioning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So here's what I'm going to do with it. Mm -hmm. Once again, mm -hmm. the fence, do you have that time stamp? Yes or no? Javon, uh, yeah. he's talking to you guys. You guys look at... Hello? Hello? Speak up there. Your Honor, we could. I, I, I cannot find the timestamp because there's too many voices. I just, I can't. It's Perfect. my. I tried. My brain is gonna explode. I think it's somewhere around 5:49. But we gotta, I. Which tape? Bro, we gotta listen. Lock in. Here's, here's what I'm going to go with this. All right, because we're basing a fair amount of the questioning now on this December 17th date. And he is within his due right to ask the question because you still haven't produced what you're referring to within the evidence of this interrogation. Now, I can go ahead and take the time to do so. That's fine. This would delay the process even further if I need yeah. to go ahead and listen to everything. But once again, y'all should be ready and point that out for me. Your Honor, if I may, um, if could we allow, if he wants to bring up December 17th, I'm willing to, uh, you know, if he agrees to remove that whole, striking that whole thing, if we allow a recross, a redirect on, uh, uh, on Murphy, and then he can re recross w with his line of questioning that he wants to really ask. Like slimy. That's what was originally discussed, Rami. 
We heard that conversation. But now he wants to bring up that scope. It's not like how is he allowed to bring up that scope? I and I, I had to remove my whole line of question that I had for Murphy. There, there is fair. All right. And now that's, what I'm asking for you is your basically your D-Day. Produce a dot damn tam stamp. That's it. All right? well, how is he because allowed to question about it? Son, because it's coming more and more and more relevant. All right? Exactly. That's my point. I, exactly. That's why I'm asking you produce it. So now I have to prove against him for him not to question it? No, before I want it was the actual evidence bro. that we have agreed Holy to. Holy fuck, bro. This is so stupid, bro. Oh my That's god, bro. What I'm asking for. Holy fuck. That, that doesn't make any sense, Your Honor, respectfully, honestly. Respectfully, you can under listen. Here's what I'm gonna take you through this process, Robbie. I you're gonna keep moving around like there. To say one thing. No, no, I, I understand your process, Your Honor. I just don't uh, if I was the judge right uh -huh. now, Whatever. God damn. You started a process that regards of the December 17th date. Oh, no. was he started the objection towards I, it, I, Your Honor. No, no, no. Let me finish this. You the started the original questions Correct. of where you were on the day of December 17th. I Correct. have this right next to me right now. Correct. Right? even asked how long were you settled into the city, December 27th from December 17th, etc. That goes into some of that. All right. One of you and step out and try to find that quote, find that, find that uh, time stamp, please. The third question had been okay. asked about which day he became a judge. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. It's on the second interrogation, not on the second. We start asking uh, that. Kit. That's when that came up in the question. Okay. Y'all were not able to produce at this point, unless someone else actually has it at some point, the time where this was brought into evidence as an exhibit. Okay. All right. So what I'm asking here at this point, because it seems like a fair amount comes back to this testimony is I just want to be presented. I'm giving you the time. And right. if you want, I will give you a five minute research. No, no, no. Go I, I, I have one it. of them stepping out right now to find the interrogation honor. My, my, point, is trying. my point that I, I'm trying to bring up here is that if that's the case, then he shouldn't be allowed to ask his question on December 17th. And that's why I want to get to the point where there's no back and forth with this. And I just want to have everyone in the room on the same platform. So if, if we may, allowed or not allowed. Can we, can we just recall Murphy? He uh, strike his line of questioning and recall Murphy until Sam Sanders finds the uh, interrogation. If she doesn't. Here's what I'll do. I will put the court into recess. I don't want to recess, bro. Minutes. Just keep it going. Don't Damn, go ahead bro. and find this. If it's not found within 10 minutes, we'll continue. All right. That's good. Thank you, Your Honor. I don't want to recess, bro. I'd rather just keep Sorry. going. I know, me too. Hey, I'm gonna go shit talk going, over bro. for a second. No, no, stop shit talking to me and go help Sam, Sam out. Okay, You've been fine. just fucking... Yeah, please. Yes, of course. Uh-huh. Hey, what are you doing next? Hey. Hey, how's it going? Sorry. Angle fans? Angle. Yeah, well, I figured Sorry. that uh, I could keep you here instead of thinking about what you gotta think about, so that way I could waste some of your time. Yeah, well, uh, that's fine. I'll just keep talking. All right. So, uh, what you thinking about this whole thing, huh? And and read them's rats. Oh wow, really? The silent treatment, okay. asshole. Um, just really quickly. Ready. Find a lawyer. Well, you can come. Say what he was going to do. You can't expect um, a different outcome there. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh huh, uh huh. I mean, fucking well, I'm karma. Go and, uh, I'm gonna do the same thing just for a hot minute. Uh, PD Glock on him. Uh, uh, police issued Glock in five different magazines. PD so far. Okay. Uh, at this time, uh, you've been asked to come here. Uh... Uh, questions that Mr. Braun, inter excuse me, that you interpreted uh, to be implied threats. Uh, yeah, more or less. Yeah, now that that could we got problems. Oh, what, Mr. Braun? You are. I mean, pe people know who you are. I mean, you obviously have handled several quite large court cases. I mean, mm -hmm. you're. I mean, you're. You're a hell of a. I mean, you're. 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 You're very well known. Um, I was. I was like, kind of like, just like having fun live tweeting it. So I was just kind of paying attention. I was not at that party. So I didn't want to liquid invited. live. I'm hearing them rats everywhere. Rats. And then, then, you know. Is that it? Okay. Right. 
there there is one last thing uh, I do need to ask you, Murphy. Um, and you know, I understand that this is going to be a frustrating question, so that we can pursue. Um, can you send me something, please? I remember this. And will be appointed by the state for your charge. I just wanted to ask some clarifying questions from the last time that we spoke, um, that day, that the last time that we spoke. Um, I'm wondering if you would be able to just give me a summary or walk me through um, that day that the incident occurred. Um, well, I went uh, like I said, to the party. So, um, do you remember approximately what time the party ended? I can't identify the person at all. Okay. Um, how are you feeling, by the way? I'm sorry I didn't start with that. Uh, so, I'll just... Uh, I'll just be uh, blunt about this. Um, so that night uh, that you were shot, uh, you were also found uh, with a quick, with a PD Glock on your person. Where'd you get that gun? Um, I don't know how I would have brought me, you know, if you have anything to say. I mean, I'm gonna be honest here. Uh, that's what your investigation should be. Yeah, is that right, Coach? Well, you just uh, answered the question yourself, right? You got shot and then had a gun on him. What was... Well, uh, I just want to see if you can speak to it at all. Well, why well, why well, you had well, it or you where you got it from? Well, you had the gun on him and then, I mean, sorry, you got shot and then you got incapacitated, right, Murph? Uh, I woke up in the hospital and was told that, you know, you know, approximately what you're telling me now, which, you know, I know that by now, but, like, I, I, I don't recall anything about having a gun or, or anything like that. I just recall someone pointing a gun at me. Okay. Um, and you don't have, like, a time frame of which that happened or, like, relative? Was it before or after the party? Was was what before? The thing gun at you. That came back to me. That's all. Um, is this an interrogation to, is this an interrogation to help justify what charge you guys are charging him with? Or what is, what is the purpose of this investigation? Uh, and, and, Do you have and a report? I'm assuming you guys are never going to reach out to the cops. Uh, yeah. let me... Let me just confirm with Slack so I can send it to you and I'll send it to you, okay? Yeah, please go. Fine. So, it, it's not complete yet. Uh, but let, let me see. I think we're hoping to have everything completed in the next, like, two days. Uh, and um, we we talked about this incident. And I found this report, like, five days ago, and the fact that it's not even done yet is for 15 days now. But, right. Your phone records for a six-hour window of... Uh, that was an unrelated thing. Um, yep. We have it on... Oh, fuck. They ask about December 17th. And, and read them as rats. Okay. Um, just really quickly before I do that, uh, Mr. Braun, um, we are just for the sake of this, we are going to be recording um, this questioning. Do you have any issues with that? Uh, no, whatever, whatever you have to do. Alrighty, and I can say it as well. Th thank you. <laughs> I'm turn this on. Uh, okay. Um, so just for the recording, would you mind stating your name? Uh, Mur Murphy Braun. Thank you, Mr. Brian. Um, Psst, you're a bitch. Mind your name you will always be a bitch. Yeah, please go on wood. Oh, you're not a motherfucking bitch, right? And, and seven, Archer, Take the uh, fucking game up, stopping the time, fucking losers, and, and, and win this fucking case. If you lose this case, you a bitch. Straight up. Why are you? Why are you too? Bitch. Um, yes. Uh, can I, can I perhaps uh, speak with an attorney, actually? Absolutely can. Okay. So, Tommy around. I think he sleeps in on Saturdays, but, uh... I will call him and... Someone's around. I believe I just saw Siobhan outside the, uh... Yeah, he's gonna... I questioned him um, or heard any of his statement. Um, we haven't gone. This is going to pan out because I actually do think he has an out. Thing. Jesus. I mean. If, uh, if, if, if a judge, so oh judge determines that he's guilty of possession of that gun. It's fine. Everything's, everything's fine. Uh -huh. Um, okay. Things couldn't possibly be better for me, actually. Okay. I had more than a, I had more than a few whiskeys at the party. Was between places. Oh my something. God. His interrogation remember, uh, literally contradicts what he said. He said it more than, he only, he said he had a one or two drink, one or two drinks max. Max. He said he had quite a m few more than whiskeys. Uh, oh my I god! This, this voice. His like interrogation a, like is voice. different than his testimony. Be bothered? It's not your responsibility anymore. Oh my fucking god! Cool. Um, crazy. I can't believe. Like you know someone that knows. Fuck crazy. crazy. All right, sorry about that, guys. My uh, uh my bad. I can see everybody now, sorry. Oh, you're better now. Thank you. Yes, yes I am. All right. Siobhan, Siobhan, Siobhan. Yeah, he... Siobhan, court. Siobhan is like on a whole nother level, bro. All righty. Hello there. Five. Four. <clears throat> three. Yeah. Y'all good. Y'all have your yes. side conversations out. I would like to finish this sometime today. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, well, thank you for ending your conversation. All right. Well, I'm just trying to understand this correctly. And everything, I just want to make sure that we're all on the line with this. First off, Council Hall, 
and please only speak if you have been spoken to. Do not ask or do not answer for someone else on behalf. All right? Do I make myself clear? Yes, Cancel Your Honor. Hall. Yes, yes, Your Honor. In the interrogation, when he was, I'm guessing he was read his rights. Yes or no? Uh, yes, yes, Your Honor, he, he was read his rights. Uh, Cancel, were you there? Uh, I, w I was there. No, not you. I'm asking I'm Counselor Hall there. I was present for the second interrogation, Your Honor. The second one? That's right. All right. From start to finish, is the entirety of that tape included? This is directed to me, right, Your Honor? It's directed, yes, absolutely. Yes. You I... entered the entire. You entered the evidence into the system here. Your Honor, I, I submitted what was provided to me. From my understanding, the full length of all interrogations were provided. I don't have any information that uh, portions of the interrogations were excluded from it. From my understanding, portions like like the interrogation was paused, so the recording was paused at certain portions, and then it was uh, restarted based on conversations that I think that ended up happening. Um, but the the interrogations that are provided and produced, from my understanding, they were produced in full. I, let me confer with the officers here, but from my understanding, no evidence has been withheld with respect to the interrogations. The defense side, as they confer between themselves, the counsel and defense, were you present for the entirety of the time in question from beginning to end? I was not for the second one. Uh, Siobhan handled the first one. I was the for the first one. one. Sorry. And the second one? The second one? Um. No, I don't think so. Mr. Braun, did you have any person, of your though. counsel involved in the second? Uh, yes. It was Rami only in the second one and Siobhan only in the first one, which is reflected in the evidence. Mr. Rami. Yes, sir. At any point in time, did you leave the room there? Do I say yes or no? Be honest. Uh, no, I don't think so. So you were present for the entirety of the y questioning? Yes. When it... All right. Which so you should have the that? full scope of Both. the questions being asked. I knew he was going to say that. Heard during that interrogation, yes? And I'm going to be real. I don't really remember, Your Honor. I'm going to be honest. Frankly, unfortunately, it's not my problem there. No, of course. 100%. Get that. All right. So which one is becoming into question? The first one or the second the one? The first one, Your Honor. The one that you were there present for? Correct. And were you there the entirety of the time? I was. So do you, do you have, by default, the entire context of the conversation? Javon is like, I do. Oh, my God. Did you ever, at any point in time, leave the room? I did not. Okay, well, and uh, we just fucked. was a recording pause. It should not have been, to my knowledge. The knowledge. Prosecution. At any point in time, did you pause the recording? Uh, yes. We, so, what's the whole point? What's going on right now? interrogation, no uh, originally, uh, it was just Mr. Like Braun that was there. The uh, we brought him down to the interrogation room, at which point then he decided he wanted a lawyer. So we said, okay, we're going to put a pin in this and we paused the uh, recording so that we, and then we got Siobhan there. And then when uh, Siobhan. What even happened though? What's going on? Arrived, uh, we, we discussed what uh, happened on the 17th about the fact that he had been with me on the Siobhan, night that it was the, then, the gun was uh, stolen. We did the questioning. Uh, you guys are literally saying screaming I'm outside of City Hall. Everybody could hear us. Siobhan, can you confirm that? His rights were read in front of him the second time that you were there the entire time. I can't confirm if there was a first reading, Your Honor, because I can't confirm information I wasn't aware of, but I can confirm that they were read when I was present. Yes, at least the ones that I was present for. All righty. So, what I'm hearing is that both stories corroborate here. Is that he asked for his right for a lawyer. Mr. Braun, correct me if I'm wrong here. You didn't answer correct. any questions until your lawyer came. Correct, Your Honor. All right. 
So at what point is being omitted here? There was discussion regarding the nights of the 17th, um, late 17th, early 18th, um, where Murphy Braun was present when the PD gun was allegedly stolen off of an officer because it had to come from somewhere, right? That's exculpatory. That was omitted in the recording. I... In the first interrogation. Let me just go back in the record here briefly. Oh, are you saying Cornwood arrived in mid investigation in that in that footage? Yeah, I think so. They oh, went out of the room a bunch of times, so it's not you. it's I not available. You. you understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. The recording was left on. He literally flipped yeah, it to the B of... side, and there was stuff that was discussed, and it's missing. Yeah, it's literally skips all over the place, and like in mid conversation and everything. I thought you thought that was, I thought that was intentional. Like that was because you guys had been brought up. In I mean, do you have uh, any uh, no. questioning about Chance? I'm just trying to refer back to my notes here. Uh, which specific part? In regards to uh, the 17th date, we had crossed it out there because it got into the conversation about slacks. Yes. Um, I know, I know, I know. I'm spamming fat, bro. I'm just eating. Um... He was asking about this, uh, what, where, uh, where he was. So if I'm eating, I'm fat. His ex-wife was in the courtroom, and to point her out, uh, he was asking if he was, uh, with her from the entire time between the 15th and the, the 27th, and then it got uh, argued as being irrelevant. No, you're just eating, but you happen to be fat. Is crazy. All righty, here's what we're crazy. Do. Okay. Well, let me add out that. When these decisions come yeah. up into where we're at now, we have to weigh the impact of whose weapon it truthfully was. Yeah, that's And information that may or may not, not impact the case to where we're at. Well, I believe at this point in time that something has been done maliciously to exclude any diabetes. Based upon your answers back and forth, I do not. Why I say this is because technically, if this was part of your question to begin with, and this was something that was initially admitted, once again, you'd have that beforehand. It's a half thing of so sweet tea. You could bring that to me. But instead, we are back with this. It wasn't included. I can't find the time stamp to everything. So, frankly, it was more of a homework due Listen, diligence. I don't to mind to cut, to remove so the whole thing. To continue it, but That's fine. I don't give say. a fuck. We can ask we tried. these questions. We can get to the answer with them. With just questions that we ask everybody else. Uh, Your Honor, we can just, yeah, we can just proceed. It's fine. We can That's, withdraw the motion. Thank you. That's where I'm going with this. We will proceed as normal. Ask questions to figure it out. Yep. Thank all you. I right. wish we had Brady. I yep. wish we had Brady so bad. It's such an obvious, all righty. clear fucking Brady violation. Wait. Um, it's fine. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Hey, Hall, there's no reason Council for us, Hall, no, no reason for us to have it. Because obviously it's not fucking important to fucking give us In regards to the employment affected by, uh, affected by the Brady violation, it still gets the law. I believe it's that's not, right, Your Honor. They don't have it. They don't have it here. No, they don't have it. There's a charge on the books. One more time. Oh, that's right. Objection. There is actually a charge on the books. But where is nope. it? I forget what it's when. Right. When was it? So here's what we're going to do with evidence the scope sample. objection. That's just evidence. Because sample. the evidence Great. has not been found. Uh, it is a misdemeanor. We're going to remove the line of questioning anything. Thank you, Your Honor. In regards, and we're going to strike I'm surprised that's a misdemeanor. In regards to December 17th. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh -huh. Should because why the fuck is it just a misdemeanor? Ah, for I'm going to strike that questioning there. Uh, Council Hall, go ahead and proceed there. All right, thank you, and I, I just want to clarify. Uh, we would still assert that it is within scope the question that I'm asking, even without. Well, if it's being striked, then it wouldn't be in scope. Oh, anything regarding December 17th and those incidents there, is in regard to his employment. That's perfectly fine. Can he re Can he cross on our recall? Sense. I don't mind that. We also yeah, had agreed upon that recall. we're no. not going to go ahead he cannot, right? and try to... When we no. recall somebody, they get across, don't they? No, no, no. On our redirect, it's, it's redirect. No, he can't Redirect cross. is what you're talking about, not it's redirect. No, 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 no. On our recall. When we recall, we recall flop. flop. Oh, yes. Yeah, they can yeah, cross. Yeah. And then we redirect. I can. I know a way to bring up December 17th to flop, but I don't know. Should I allow it or no? Do it. The interrogations that took place. First off, if we can clarify, I mean, it's true that you didn't bring up the, the flash of a gun or getting shot in the first interrogation. Isn't that right? 
Objection, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he's doing this. I don't know what it is. Yeah, he's doing the same thing that I, you told me to stop doing. Uh, correct, yeah. right? Yeah, please. Just, I Thank understand you. you can't do it. Just go ahead and make sure. If you're asking yeah. it, just Thank don't you, put Your the Honor. words in their mouth. Rephrase the question. Let, let, uh, let them ask it. Thank you. No, can we please have him rephrase. Go ahead, Oliver. Yeah, I, I certainly can rephrase. Judge. You know what? No further questions, actually. Thank I'm you. Gonna draw ah, I got him. I, I, oh, cool. I fucking got him. <laughs> I fucking... Almost got blood clots in my legs from sitting in this hard I fucking chair. got him. Thanks, good Oliver. Job, yeah. good job, good job. That's right, you stupid bitch. Yeah, I don't think it's all you do to Oliver, man. Murphy? Of course. Uh, yeah, we have no... Fence tape. We're not going to recall <laughs> Murphy, Your Honor. Uh, uh, no, well, you have an option to uh, no, redirect. No, uh, no, we're not going to redirect. Hold on. Yeah, no further questions. Is... Ah, Mr. Go, well, it doesn't matter. He's it doesn't matter. Fine. It's fine. Return back Thanks, to your, uh, your honor. I like to just call the recalled witness of uh, a flop. Mr. Dugong, could you go ahead and approach here? Yes, sir. I can't believe I have Corey out for this. Oh, no. We're trying. We're trying, Adams. Hey, uh, if you don't mind bearing with me for a second before we uh, start questioning. Oh, oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. And I must remind you at this time, he's still on the oath. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh huh. You know, man, I think you're doing great. Wait, you're still you're still doing the other case after this? You look so good in white right now. Should I dispose of your enemies on the field? The fuck is going on over there? Oh. Huh. What the fuck? Hello. Hey, are you still willing to give a? I know you guys wow, like you there? Yeah, yeah, it was just over here oh, in the conversation over here. Hey, you're still, you're still good to give a, you're still, you're still good to give a character statement? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. On who? I apologize, Your Honor. Oh, wait, no, I'm fuck. Good. That was Bobby Charles. Right, My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Flop. Um, the weapon that you uh, took off of uh, Murphy. Did you guys go back and run the serial number uh, on the weapon? At the time of taking the weapon and taking it off of Mr. Braun, we did not have uh, any way to run a serial as the gun was not serial. Okay. And what about later? Uh, by the time... What do you mean? The yes or no question. Did you run, did you run the serial number of the gun? There's no serial on the gun, Rami. Okay, so there was no serial on the gun. So then how come in your earlier testimony you said it was Leo Slax's weapon? I never mentioned Slax. Are you sure? On my life, the first time I've heard about that is today in this courtroom by the defense. One second, Your Honor, let me just talk to my counsel. Your cool down, sorry, down. Sam, what do we do? Yeah, hey, Sam, I don't care about. Sorry, I got right distracted. Sorry, I got distracted. What, what was the question? Sorry. sorry. What, what? What's? You guys aren't even paying attention. What the fuck are you guys yeah, doing, bro? You guys are just yeah. dicking Siobhan, around the whole time. No, 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 no. Holy Siobhan. fuck, bro! This entire time, Siobhan, you've been just popping shit. What, uh, Sam, uh, Kermi, the... Kermi, could you repeat the last question and answer just for the record, please? Oh my God! The one that Rami just asked. Yeah, yes. yes. Yeah. I just want to make sure that I understand the phrasing of the uh, answer correctly. Rami asked. The weapon you took off Murphy, did you run the serial on the weapon? And then you only just say the answer. That has nothing to do with what we're talking about. The Seminole or something? Uh, no, well, I'm, I'm, we recall no because they talked about Leo Slacks, the weapon, that being his gun. Taking it off Mr. Braun, we didn't have any way to okay. run the serial. Okay. The only reason why they know that is because they went back to the original date of December 17th. It's a way for me to bring it up. you say it was Slacks' gun earlier. Okay, and what was the answer? Uh, he said, I never mentioned Slacks today in the courtroom. It's the first time I've ever heard about that by the defense. Okay, and so earlier in your previous testimony, when you're called as a direct witness for the prosecution, uh, Officer Dugong, you stated that uh, it was a PD Glock. Is a oh, sorry, let me phrase that. Uh, you say that it was a PD Glock. Uh, you can confirm that again, or can you confirm that it was a PD Glock? Yes. Okay, how did you identify it as a PD Glock? As far as I I know, the only way you're able to get one of those is as, is, is if you were a sworn officer in the LSPD. As of current. And how does one procure such weapon? Apply to the PD and get accepted? I'm confused. Uh, well, well, like, what, why did we recall them again? Is, is it just like a giant box of guns? I thought we were, something about the Seminole. I, honestly, I don't remember. How, is, I how, is it, how do you receive such weapon? Objection, argumentative. There was a reason. Counsel's testifying. 
Uh, Your Honor, the intention wasn't to testify. It was to, to, to no give clue. it an example Chief, for clarification. I can rephrase if absolutely necessary. It wasn't... What, hold on. I, I do I'm, want to I'm put confused. this in. Hey, uh, yeah. let, me, let me address this real quick. <clears throat> and I, I want to be perfectly clear with this. And just to be clear. Siobhan, come here. Is, uh, I'm aware at its Why did we recall him originally? When PD was issued, uh, were, why did we recall him? You had a real reason to no recall him. There was no way to Hold actually on. trace them because there was no technology yet to do so. Car leaving the area? So, to my knowledge, on the it was a car. It was a car. It was a car. It was a car. It was a seminal because he was on scene. It was a car. We have available to us. When he said oh, yeah. it's not available, it's yeah, the really because there was no technology to actually imprint anything originally, and the technology to read it afterwards is not backdated. Actually, Your Honor. I could even bring something else into perspective too, if you would like me to answer it. It's actually in evidence that this is a PD issued firearm. It is stamped with a PD. Fair enough. <clears throat> That's going to be evidence. I just number... want to avoid any Sorry. sort of conversation no, that sir. may bring a paw into something that is very technical. No, sir. Right. That was not my intention at all. I apologize no. if that's if that was the intention that it's, that was implied. That was the, absolutely not what I was going down. All right. Like, go ahead and proceed there. Okay. Uh, how does one get one of the PD Glocks? Are they issued it upon? Oh, what is she doing? Bro? That's not uh, even like what like I'm trying to being accepted in the PD or what? No, you are you are to purchase one at the armory that is locked behind multiple doors inside of the Mission Row Police Department. Which is, as far as I know, the only place you can purchase one of those currently. Understood. So you go into an armory and you just you, you you're issued one through the proper. Didn't channel. somebody say one of them was Leo's issued gun? The proper channels and means via the, the the police department armory, correct? I am authorized to carry one once I am a sworn officer. I don't think we need to go down this road anymore. We don't. We we don't. We don't. I just don't know like. I could have swore this motherfucker said Leo Slax had the gun. It was Leo Slax's weapon. I also think so. No, Leo Slax literally told us. Uh, in, in, yeah, cool. Is it in the interrogation or no? In evidence, no, he came and told uh, the Murphy the and I at the fucking seven, courthouse. Seven? It right, that that doesn't matter, Sean. Yeah. Like, yeah. Photo possession number two, Murphy it's Braun, it's, it's PD fine, firearm. Fine. I don't know what to do. It is clearly stamped that this firearm is I, well, stamped. Your Honor, Your Honor, we'll just strike this. We're just going to sustain everything. It's fine. We don't have any questions. I thought I you said to... that it was Leo with Slax's weapon on the testimony. That's why I recalled you, to be honest. Understood. But if you yeah, didn't, no, that, I, that's fine. No, I don't Are we going to talk about no, that? No, no, no. It's fine. Okay. We, don't need to. We, don't, we don't need to. We don't need to. Okay, you're right. Okay. Let's see here. Hey, uh, Council Hall. Trying to ask, like, a, like the, a car, the, car, the car don't matter. The car don't right. matter at this point. Why is he always... Am I going to step down, Your Honor? Yes, you may go Yeah, you're good. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh-huh. The face. Sh I, like Siobhan and uh, has been just like bullshitting this entire time. Uh, are we calling Adams and Angel? Yeah, let's call. Yeah, they've been they've been here for a while. Yeah, let's call them. Uh, Younger, are we calling Honorable uh, Norman Adams to the stand, please? All right. Mr. Adams, go ahead and step. I should have prepped though. You're not wrong. Absolutely I, sh I should have prepped for sure. Like I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna lie to you. I still, at this point, like. Sam, I think you just lack the appropriate context or information, and it, you know, it was clear up. It's fine. I swore to uh, Judge Engeldan, yes, Your Honor. All right. I must it doesn't even matter. Yeah. It doesn't even matter. Fantastic. I, some, you, right. Somebody go up for Norman. I don't know what we're asking. Siobhan, can you handle that one? Because I don't know what questions you want. Or uh, Sebastian. Yeah, I think you're a good one for, for this one. Sebastian. You literally Sebastian. talked to Murphy about it. Why are you cooking? Norman, did you see Murphy the day of this uh, in in incident? Fucking. Um, so it's a little blurry. Uh, I saw him the night of January 5th leading into January 6th. Um, okay. Um, can you go in further into detail on that? Uh, sure. Um, so the night of January 5th, uh, we were here for a trial um, that was set to take place. It was uh, Vivek Ramaswamy versus Pilba Shanley. Um, I was called to court as a witness as the individual who presided over a bench trial pertaining to an incident between the two. Um, uh, Judge Brittany Angel was presiding. 
uh, and Murphy Braun was in the courtroom. Uh, and we had also spoken, you know, throughout the building and, and out front throughout the night. And this was the day before the alleged incident or the night before the alleged incident or the day of the alleged incident? Uh, my understanding, uh, Rami, is that the um, the incident occurred uh, just after midnight on the 6th. So it would have been in the hours immediately prior. Before the wet, uh, party, correct? Correct, yes. Okay. And can you tell me about Murphy's demeanor that day? Sure. Uh, Murphy was acting like he, uh, you know, normally was. Uh, I believe he and I exchanged a few uh, conversations about, uh, I don't know, he loves football. We talked about that. Uh, just about general goings on in the city. Uh, okay. He didn't appear Did agitated or. Okay. Yeah. No, he didn't appear agitated, distressed, or anything to that effect. Okay. And, you know, now not stressed, like you said. Normie was. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Murphy was acting uh, the way norm normally Murphy acts. Uh, yeah, if anything, he was a little bit excited because he was going to uh, Raymond's birthday party. Okay, and did he come to see you after the Raymond party? Uh, no. Um, at the conclusion of the trial, uh, I believe I gave uh, Judge Angel a ride home, and uh, I did not see Murphy brought after that point. Did you see him at the trial mentioned for Vivek as well? Yes, I did. And how did he seem over there? Uh, he was fine. I wasn't really, I couldn't really observe anything too direct. Um, I believe he was standing up uh, to Judge Bailey's left here, um, and I was sitting directly behind where the prosecutioner situated as I was called as a witness for uh, Mr. Ramaswamy. Okay. Now, were you at that Raymond party as well, or did you just drop uh, no, him off there? No, I was not. Uh, I, again, uh, after the trial, uh, I brought Angel home. I did not see Murphy Braun after that. Okay. And did you witness him on the phone at any point or, you know, taking any phone calls or anything? Uh, I may have, but I couldn't speak to the nature of those. Uh, what do you mean? Like the context of what he was saying? Cause you didn't hear him or correct. Yeah. He may have taken a phone call. I, I couldn't tell you about what or from who, uh, nor did he tell me anything about such. Okay. Um, and did you contact him at any point during the, while he was at the party, like throughout, through on the, through the phone or anything? Uh, no, I did not. Can I give me one second? Let me just talk to my counsel. Mm -hmm. You're doing so good, Romy. That was perfect. Is, you know, is, you yeah, I think that's, it was that's all we wanted. Is, we just want to show he was being normal. Um, and that's it. Just okay. Yep. But he, he had a complete same thing good state of mind. Yeah. You. Yep. Uh, that is all, Norman. We don't mean any. We know we won't need your time anymore. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it was perfect. Hello, there, Judge Adams. How are we? Oh, no. Uh, Everyone else there from your defense? No, Your you... Honor. All right. All right. Go ahead, then, Counsel Hall. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so, Judge Adams, I just want to clarify. Did sure. you contact the defendant at any point after he became inebriated? Uh, no, I did not. Speak Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor. Scope. From... Whenever t he wasn't at the party, and and he lacks and like, no foundational he lacks foundational knowledge. He already said he didn't. See it there. Yeah, certainly, Judge. Um, it's probably also we've already established testimony. that the defendant became intoxicated at the party. He already said that he didn't see me after the party. Again, knew your Honor, my witness the... stated that he didn't see I'm him at so, the party. I'm still talking, Your Honor. I, yeah, let him I would appreciate it. Of course, of course. Thank you. Uh, again, as, as fuck you, dumb bitch. Shit yep. And it went to the Going party. Um, so asking him <laughs> if he was in contact with the defendant after he became inebriated at the party would not be out of scope. Um, Chat, I already again, know there's a lot riding on this. The witness had personal knowledge or did This rides on Mr. K and X. Yes. We he have to win this court case. No, he didn't. This I court case is a must win. This fact's not in evidence. It's all sorts of shit. Right. Here's what I'm going to do. Go ahead and rephrase and re ask the question. Uh, you can ask similar to the scope of it, but just go ahead and rephrase that in a way to uh, specific towards the answers that uh, Judge Adams gave over here. The fact that he was a neighbor. Yeah, so why didn't you prepare, bro? Yeah, because we didn't know uh, dump uh, fuck that Mr. K got arrested today, Curdy P. You brain dead bitch. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Outburst. If you Outburst. could go ahead and re-ask those questions in a way that is to knowledge <laughs> of Officer uh, sorry, Judge Adams, 
outburst, way, outburst. Right? Don't apologize. Right? This way, Judge Adams, did you contact the defendant at any point after when he left for the party? Uh, no, I don't even know when he left for the party. Um, I left it immediately after the conclusion of the court case. Objection, Your Honor. Opposing right, counsel is clearly so bitch made. speak to his demeanor <laughs> after you, you met with him at the courthouse. Is that right? Mm. No, I cannot. And you can't provide any testimony as to what could have happened to the defendant after he left the courthouse. Isn't that right? That is correct. All right. No further questions, Judge. He's saying, is that right instead of correct? Your Honor, uh, I would like to point out he's still doing the, is that right? Instead of correct? <laughs> He's fine around me at this point. It's it's, I'm like just getting loud. Between both good. Objection, Your Honor. I like to. Never mind. I'm not going to just say. <laughs> Never mind. Isn't that uh, right, Your Honor? What? Oh my God. Let him Devon, on. you got to chill. Complete the statement. I'm not going to complete the statement, Your Honor. I don't, uh, can I complete the statement without getting contempt of court, Your Honor? <laughs> Please. Go ahead. I like to strike the opposing counsel as formerly bitch made. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to ask you. You kept telling me to ask you. Your Honor, uh, could we note for the record that the only person who laughed at that joke was Miss Fitzpatrick? Oh, no, I laughed, laughed at the joke. Yeah, That's perjury. Yeah, yeah, everybody laughed. laughed. That's perjury. I'm sorry. I also laughed. Thank you. I also laughed. Thank you. Yeah, frankly, if I knew what bitch made, maybe, but I don't. Anyway, let's Ooh. keep going. <clears throat> That's hard. That's hard, Bailey. Way too often. Uh, that's it, right? I mean, Norman's good because he redirected. Yeah, we okay. We're not recalling him now. No. Alrighty. Huh? You can go ahead and step down there, Judge Adams. Thank All right, you, Your Honor. Honor. Lastly, finally, we'd like to call the honorable, beautiful, Judge Brittany Angel. <laughs> Hey, I might have a hookup on another arm, by the way. Uh, I'll let uh, you know that after. Thank you, Romy. Yeah. Mary Mushkin's arm that Vinny wants to cut off. All righty. Judge Angel. <laughs> Mary's arm. Recall that you have been sworn in, yes? Uh, yes, that's correct. Then I must remind you that any question that you answer is still on the oath, all right? Yes, of course, Your Honor. All righty. The fancy may go ahead and proceed. Come on, everybody. Why don't we give her a hand? All right, I'm sorry. I just had to do that. Okay, uh, Angel, did you see Murphy on the day of the crime? Of the alleged crime? <laughs> uh, yes, I did. Okay, uh, you mind going into detail on that? Uh, yeah, I was presiding over a civil case uh, with <laughs> Vivek Ramaswamy and Tilda Shonley, and Murphy Braun was in the courtroom uh, shadowing off to the side. Okay, and can you tell me about Murphy's demeanor that day? He seemed pretty normal, um, as inquisitive as always, and then nothing seemed off about him. Okay, and he didn't seem stressed or anything, nothing like that, right? No, he seemed just like regular Murphy Braun. Okay, now, um, were you at Raymond's party? No, I was not. Okay, so at what point did you, uh, like, break off from Murphy? Was it after the court case? Uh, yes, I believe after the court case, after everything was said and done, um, he went off to go celebrate, and that's the last time I saw him. Okay, and did you drop him off at the party, or you just it was you you stopped seeing him at the court? Like, how did you? Uh, I don't specifically remember the exact last moment that I didn't see him, but it was sometime near the end of the court case. Um, he stepped out. Okay, so and I... sorry, go ahead. So, so I no, I did not drop him off at the uh, the party. Okay. That's your question. When he left the court case, did he just walk out, or was he on the phone or anything? I uh, I don't recall him being on the phone. Okay. And did you witness him on the phone at any point throughout the day that you saw him? To be honest with you, I wasn't really looking at Murphy that often. Um, I can't say that I do recall him being on the phone though. Okay. Uh, give me one second. Let me just talk to my counsel here. See if we have any further questions. She just saw him and saw that he wasn't acting weird. He was being normal. Yeah, it's, that, it's that's all standard. he really wanted from him. Yeah. Uh, that is all, Your Honor. Uh, that's all. Yeah, I mean, that, that that all tracks. Like, she was focusing on the court case anyway, so. Yeah, so that's about all you're going to get. I just feel bad for doing all that. No I questions mind. from the state, Judge. I know. I know. 
Angel, we're not going to recall you. Sorry again. We should have probably requested you first. Apologies. We probably should have requested you first, Judge Angel. Um, hope you don't feel like your time was wasted. No, it's okay. I go ahead and hey, step down. I'll just my number. I, I got a hookup for an arm, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll keep you posted. Yeah, Rami, you oh, guys take care, right? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I want an arm. Ansel Robin. You have anybody else? That is all, Your Honor. I think we're ready for closings. Is there any evidence that you would like to point to me? Um, uh, guys. Uh, we'll uh, highlight in closing, Your Honor, and I will um, email you a copy of the closing argument for your review during deliberation. All righty. Y'all need a moment to prepare your closing. No, Your no, Honor. We're ready. All set to proceed, Judge. All righty. Let's go ahead and do so. Great uh, job, guys. You got this. All right, may I proceed, Your Honor? You just bear with me one moment. Yes, yeah, so come on up here. Your Honor, uh, mind if I ask, will the ruling be today, or is this going to be... Uh... Yes, I okay. do everything today. I don't... Okay, thank uh, you. I don't extend it. W. That's, All right. That is not my prerogative. I go back to the days of long, long, long ago. Of course. I don't, I don't extend them out for the days to. Sounds good. All right, go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. I want to first by, start by going over all the evidence in this case. And I, I want to fucking kill this guy so badly. You have no idea. What we heard and like, what the evidence line, yeah. showed during the course of this trial. His smile we know based fucking on the evidence. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. The defendant was present on Joshua Road. He was in possession of a government-issued firearm. Although a judge, a judge does not possess the legal authority to possess a government-issued firearm. Only law enforcement officers can. We know that based on the testimony, and we know that based on the law. Now, the question that the defense raised originally was, how do we know that the defendant intentionally and knowingly possessed this firearm? And the answer is pretty simple. When they searched him, not only did they find the firearm on his person, but they also conducted a GSR test, a gunshot <laughs> residue test. That test indicates whether or not that person has shot recently. And the defendant was positive for GSR. You're, you're that throwing. means prior to his you're incapacitation, throwing. he fired that gun. And when he fired that gun, he was conscious. He knew he was in possession of the gun. He knew what he was doing <laughs> with the gun. He knew that he was firing that gun and that it was unlawful for him. Can we object so to closing? He possessed it, rather, knowingly and intentionally. That can we object to closing? Uh, conclusive you can object. That he was we can. What was happening. Really be, I'll this object to the end of his closing. Nah, fuck that. Was, fuck, hey, go, 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 go brazy, go brazy. Go brazy, go brazy. Like I said, he's saying that Murphy knew what he was doing. Do it. only a doubt if it is based on the evidence. Now, there is some some points I want to refute here. I'll start off with the non- I don't give a fuck. I'll say it and just be like, no, you know what? Never mind. You know what I mean? Just to throw him off his game. You know what I mean? Objection, your honor. You know what? Never mind. Never, never, never mind, Your Honor. Never mind. Proceed, Council Hall. Thank you, Your Honor. Again, there were four from that Joshua Road scene. There were the robbery right. calls. Give it like another 30 there seconds, they're throwing another one. It's like, you know what? I said, and no, then no, there no, was the throw him off his shit. The shots fired incapacitation. It's psychology. Uh, it's psychology. Reading a closing so, yeah, what all that means is although the 911 calls were yeah, placed and they reported different things, they reported a robbery taking place, they reported a vehicle leaving the scene, there is not a <laughs> shred of evidence that supports that those 911 calls were true. And for the court to believe the veracity of those 911 calls, there needs to be contributory evidence. And there was not in this case. Law enforcement did not see a vehicle flee the scene. We gotta ice the kicker. We gotta ice the kicker. They did not find any physical evidence that any other individual was present on scene with the defendant. So, those 901 calls, they don't add up. They are not supported by the evidence to be true. Second thing comes down to the, the kidnapping that took place. We know as a certainty that this was unrelated to the defendant. Now, Mr. Uh, the, the individual that reported the kidnapping, he at first claimed how, how to be meeting with the defendant, that? but at no point was that corroborated. All right? He, uh, the, the kidnapping that took place, the only description he gave was that it was two individuals, a clown and a man. 
And when law enforcement later conducted a lineup with the defendant to discern if the defendant was kidnapped in that incident, the man that reported the kidnapping said, no, that is not the man that I saw get kidnapped. So we know, based on the evidence, that this kidnapping is not related. It doesn't have anything to do with the defendant ending up on Joshua Road. Now, the only explanation <laughs> as to why the defendant was up on Joshua it, Road is coming from his own mouth. He was at a party. He became inebriated. And from there, he made his way up to Joshua Road. So, all of this is to say that the defense has presented no actual defense, no, no theory as to why the defendant was in possession of the gun or how his possession was lawful under the circumstance, because there's no evidence to support that claim. Free Mr. K, suck my dick from the back, bitch. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, a hundred percent. Hey, sorry, free the real. You know what I mean, Your Honor? Free the real. Hey, you go ahead, guys. <laughs> sorry, I'm not sure what that was about. Um, but but as I was saying, there I are two no main points. Either. And Mr. K's not even in this damn call. I say, well, he could be downstairs, but he's not here. Anyway, go hey, ahead. Hey, free the real. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so as I was saying, I want to bring up what I said at the opening. There are unanswered questions. There are. But because there are unanswered questions, that does not mean we have not met our burden. We have proved beyond a reasonable doubt the crime, the, de the defendant possessed a government-issued firearm. He was in possession. Hey, that probably didn't he help your case. That's your, that's your roommate. There's no other lawful excuse <laughs> for him yeah, to that's be in true. possession. Fuck. But just because there are some questions we don't have the evidence to answer, that doesn't mean we haven't met our burden. There's plenty of evidence here. Sorry, Second sorry. point, of course, is what a reasonable doubt is. Any theory that the defense is going to claim, there needs to be evidence to support it. And if there's not, there is not Mommy, a reasonable here. doubt Mommy, in the defense. Let's destroy this mother. I'll wrap up by saying, Your Honor, we've laid out the evidence. It's quite clear that the defendant violated Get the law. Up. In his possession of this government issued firearm. Yeah, yeah, I'm already taken care. I'm already, I'm already working on it. Don't worry. Him guilty. Thank you. I hope you fucking die. Destroy him. <laughs> Can you speak anybody, up here on anybody here or got food? To me? Anybody here got food? Me. Okay, sorry. Uh, I need food. Yeah. yeah I, I hope you fucking die, Oliver. Honestly. Well, I don't know I that hope I that I die anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I didn't mean Ernie, that. I will on, place but... you in cuffs and throw you in jail for criminal threats. That's, I didn't threaten him. I just said I hope he dies. Mm -hmm. That's not a threat. I hope you die Your too, Honor. Loki. Are you ready? Face. That is definition. Let me know. Yeah, battery. sounds good. If you if you'd like to go down. Flop, there. this ain't gonna work. Hey, um, mm -hmm. it's not it's not your courtroom, Flop. It's the judges. Uh, Kate, can I get that sandwich, please? All right, hey. Rami, you need you need to you Go need to be a little bit Sean. nicer. You're you're being oh you're, not, you're doing oppressive oh thing too much just right now. Represent violence. Oh my god, it is violence. I'm nice. It I'm nice to you because you show respect, Kip. I don't show I don't show respect knowledge. to people that don't show whether respect. Whether it is back, obscuring you know? state language or the full language of mindless media, whether it is the proud but calcified language of the academy or the commodity-driven language of science, whether it is the malign language of law without ethics, it must be rejected, altered and exposed. It is the language that drinks blood, <laughs> laps vulnerabilities, tucks its fascist boots under crinolines of respectability and patriotism as it moves relentlessly towards the bottom line and the bottomed out line. <laughs> Unreceptive to interrogation, it cannot form or tolerate new ideas, shapes, other thoughts, tell another story, fill baffling sciences. Uh, silences. Official language. Like a sex tape for you? What's going on here? Ignorance. <laughs> preserve privilege. It's a suit of armor. What is like a Polished sex tape for you? What's going glitter, on here? A husk from yeah. which the night departed. That's fucking hot. Long ago. Yet there it is. Dumb. Predatory. Sentimental. Exciting <laughs> reverence in school children. Providing shelter for despots. Summoning false memories of stability and harmony among the public. Just as Toni Morrison stated in her Nobel lecture. Accepting the Nobel Prize, we urge this court to yearn for more than the letter, but also the spirit of the law. Murphy Braun was clearly the individual kidnapped from City Hall, shown in the evidence of the 911 call, where an individual reported kidnapped from City Hall. No one else has reported that they were kidnapped 
Home City Hall. Murphy Braun was essentially human trafficked, set up, and framed, and the PD is only concerned about constructive possession. She's speaking Japanese. There's not a shred of evidence. We got a yapologist here that would give a motivation for a sitting judge to risk the most powerful position a civilian can inspire to. In short, Your Honor, there is no MO. There is no mens rea. There is, uh, there has been no officer's uh, testimony to their gun being stolen. It is constructive possession based solely on being found on an individual who has been injured and should not be enough to convict full stop. Constructive possession requires the prosecution to prove two elements, knowledge of the item in question and the ability to control the item in question. Anyone who has been injured to the point of being rendered unconscious or incapacitated is unable to stop individuals with nefarious intentions from rifling through their pockets. Judge Murphy Brown has a legally issued hunting license that is viewable in his public profile in the MDT. Reasonable doubt is clearly introduced that you cannot know what happened during the time he was incapacitated for. Convicting someone based on knowledge you know that you do not have that may be exculpatory is malicious disregard for the rights of the individual. For the prosecution to have admitted as such, as Oliver Hall, opposing counsel, stated in his opening, they didn't find any physical evidence. The evidence is limited. Because of that, there will be unanswered questions. This is not how proven beyond a reasonable doubt works. The prosecution has essentially admitted they don't have enough to convict based on the evidence they have and are asking for the judiciary to overlook exculpatory facts in favor of a conviction. Your Honor, the defense would assert if this isn't malicious prosecution, then I don't know what is. Presenting an indictment based on a fabricated narrative is inherently malicious. We hope this court holds that individuals who are victims <laughs> should not be unilaterally treated as criminals by the police department and finds everything from the resulting search of what and what may have come as fruit of the poisonous tree. If this court does not find this compelling and ignores fruit of the poisonous tree as such, then a GSR test performed by an officer with uh, cannot be held as definitive proof beyond a reasonable doubt that any person fired whatever gun the officer may claim that had no personal knowledge. Mens rea or a guilty mind is required to convict for most statutory charges. Without mens rea, finding an individual guilty of a crime uh, renders the judicial system a farcical excuse for a double think world. The most basic of all legal concepts should be understood by this judiciary. But I feel the need, I feel the need at this time for everyone else in this courtroom to expand. It is on the prosecution to prove mens rea, to prove knowledge of the item in constructive possession. These have not been proven in this court of law beyond a reasonable doubt when the facts of the case are clearly not in line with the legal rhetoric. The courts, when first conceived by the Founding Fathers, were intentionally designed as such that nine guilty men would walk free before a single innocent rots in prison, deprived of their right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Let's go unlock, baby. The standard of beyond a reasonable doubt is intentionally high with the full knowledge and intent that guilty individuals will walk, but that it is worth it for the state to do so as to preserve the rights of the innocent civilians from whose consent it derives its power. Actions to the contrary are civil rights violations in and of themselves and destroy the basic tenets of the social contract. As famed philosopher Immanuel Kant once opined, in law, a man is guilty when he violates the rights of others. As such, violating the rights of the innocent would condemn the judge as the guilty one in this courtroom. Given the basic legal concepts expressed, a lack of ability to prove the necessary elements of mens rea and constructive possession through testimony evidence provided, this court has no choice but to acquit. Inshallah. You, Inshallah. Uh, Inshallah. Your Honor, yeah. a, a brief objection. Uh, I wasn't going to interrupt the closing, and I'll let you kind of make the judgment on how you want this. Uh, as for the hunting Good job. piece, uh, hunting licenses were not instated until after Murphy Brown was in custody. He did not have a hunting license at the time of him being placed under arrest. However, sales of hunting rifles were allowed prior to people owning a legal hunting license. Like I just wanted that clarified for the courts. Thank you for the yeah. clarification. Sounds good, bro. Nobody cares, Flop. <laughs> Rami. Yo. Sorry, sir. Nobody cares about you not caring him. I want to talk to you later. Well, nobody cares about you not caring about me not caring about him not caring about what he just said. Stop. Uh, I ain't got feels like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
Okay, so uh, Fitzpatrick, can you go ahead as you stated that you would send that over to me? Yeah, send it over right now. Ain't no way he read all that. <laughs> you know no, what? I will actually. Oh yes, sir. Oh, I, I was whispering, sir. <laughs> oh, will you now? I heard you pretty loud and clear there, Robbie. Yes, sir. Fantastic job. Well done. I love you. I'm so proud of you. Hey, how long do you think Reese is going to be, Your Honor? Reese. The piece. Recess, recess. Recess pieces. Oh. Pieces, pieces are really good. It might be a few pieces. Oh, I can't tell you how <laughs> yeah. many pieces, but it might be two or three. Hours? Bought, no. Like, just oh. a few pieces. Uh, that was like uh, minutes. Seems like an really? easy uh, thing here, Oliver. Looks Robbie, like you lost. here's what I would like you to do. Tell me how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop, and it might be that long. Um, I can w take it in one minute. Pause. At least three seconds. Pause. All right. At this time, I'll go ahead and put the court into recess. I will go ahead and conduct deliberations. You're free to move about the country as you so will. The hell did you touch my damn Ooh, I didn't. That wasn't me. That was you. Southwest. That is the worst thing that you could do to me, Robbie. <laughs> that wasn't me. It wasn't uh -huh. me. <laughs> it wasn't. Hey, Siobhan. My hands are up. Uh, oh, yeah. Give me a second. All right. I'll go ahead and announce uh, <laughs> when I have come to my conclusion, and oh, I'll yeah. call y'all back. Oh, right? oh okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, like, ETA? Hey, what's up, no. Hey, what's up? Two pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I guess we're about All right, to get here it. we go. All right. You you ran off with stupid fucking Berg, and now you're gonna miss the verdict. This is Siobhan, why would why would you even do this? Why would you do this? You were yelling. Oh my God! Scandal. I'm taking credit for. Tell her I'm taking credit for all her A work fumes? unless she gets here. P fumes. She was just fucking here. Yo, Murphy, we win. I got 25k, right? I see. I see him yeah. right now. He just over like the court over That's like five fine. weeks though. Yeah, like, five weeks, bro. I don't have to. I don't have fucking you liquidity right, like that right now. Two or three more minutes. How much money you got? I'm good for it though. Like I make good money. I just gotta like get back to work. Yeah, no, you've literally followed. Berg. Um, Berg's not a fucking baby. Yeah, uh, pro more than likely. Yeah. All right, all right. He pretty much is a baby. Much I'd actually baby. prefer to give you that much up front, so it's like three weeks. Yeah, after yeah, that, or that some way shit. it's like, yeah, like yeah. senior buns or some shit for like a little bit, or like judging. Wonder if you get back into judge right away. Yeah, I mean, like I'm actually, only maybe suspended we'll... pending the investigation. Hey, you're the head of bar, right? Yes. You do you reinstate him as a judge if you if he gets acquitted right now? Mm, no, it's Crane because oh. he's a bar is like lawyers. Yeah, yeah. Justice is judges. Yeah, I like. Hey. While suspended, I've hired every lawyer that's been hired since I lost yeah. the election. It's kind of funny. What J.K. Fuck? Lord Admiral, Supreme Commander, Saddam Ukraine. What? Billy, you alright? Yes, I am. I just say I give it two or three minutes before I allow individuals oh, I didn't to, hear uh, you. to feel serious. Hey, uh, go ahead no, and get started. Right? Take a seat, Murphy. Take a seat. Uh, okay. I think I, I think I'm supposed to stand for the verdict, Ron. Oh, actually. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not gonna be cool. With my hands folded, just so. Yeah. Sorry, oh, I wish I had more yeah. food, but I don't. Yeah. No, it's okay. You know, I would have I would have starved to death long ago without right. you. So. Do you have everyone from your side of defense? Yes, uh, I believe so. Defense is ready. All righty, prosecution. All of it. Why are you pacing back and forth? Just grab a damn seat. It's not going to change anything that I say. Well, that's not all of it. Who the hell's the individual behind you, uh, Malton? Oh, uh, uh, Jonathan Eckert, sir. Sorry. Oh, I believe he goes uh, by uh, the street there. name Stutters, Your Honor. That's what the streets call him, sir. I didn't... <laughs> that's uh, def that's I defamatory. That. The streets uh, call me John Law. What'd you say? Oh, well, sorry about that. Y'all have very similar haircuts, and uh, sure. I'll say dress is slightly different, but he my does apologies look like back. Norman's kid or brother or something. I agree, oh, Your Honor. What the fuck? Here's what it is, apparently. Objection. No. <laughs> I mean, look at look at the two of you, man. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm quite bigger build. Let's call this back into session here, will we? Prosecution and defense, y'all prepared to hear the verdict? Yes, Your Honor. Defense is ready, Your Honor. All righty. There's a lot riding on this. First off here, 
let's uh, let's address this. Prosecution, your side, you tried to establish uh, possession of a firearm. And the actual legality of being a sworn enforcement officer and uh, the fact that judges are in their jurisdiction is not exactly the most public thing. Uh, we as judges do not have the ability to have a firearm. That is not something that's standard issue to us. He also argued the positive GSR test to assume that the suggestion that Braun had recently fired a weapon. You also point out that there is a lack of witnesses or direct evidence associated with it in that you acknowledge the lack of witnesses and direct evidence, but argue that circumstantial evidence meets the burden of proof. On the defense side, you point out the direction that he was a victim of a kidnapping, and you pointed to uh, Luis Fernandez's 911s and indicated that 911 calls about a kidnapping at City Hall. During this, there's no direct evidence to prove it was him. You also act the uh, wait, touch what? on the lack of the mens rea. Uh -oh. The no evidence in <laughs> regards to wait, Braun's wait. intent or knowledge of possessing that firearm, which are required elements for conviction of a charge. He also considered the possession standards that he had no constructive possession requiring knowledge to control the weapon. Oh, we know. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. And then finally, you argued the fruit of the poisonous tree and that you tried to argue that it is inadmissible here based upon evidence presented. All right. Let me just go down my notes here. I don't know what the fuck he's saying. All right. As a presiding judge in this trial, it's my duty to deliver a verdict based upon the evidence presented, the laws within Los Santos, and the principles of justice that guide us. In this case, Mr. Braun was accused of the criminal possession of a government-issued firearm. Law is clear within our community that only those sworn and currently active peace officers are authorized to possess such firearms. The prosecution presented evidence that Mr. Braun was found with a government-issued firearm. Additionally, a GSR test conducted on Mr. Braun returned positive result indicating that he had discharged a firearm. This the positive GSR suggests that Mr. Braun must have fired the weapon before his incapacitation. The defense argued Mr. Braun was set up and that he was unaware of the firearm in his possession. While this court acknowledges the possibility of such a scenario, the burden of proof rests upon the defense to provide a convincing alternative explanation oh, we lost. for Mr. Braun's possession of the firearm and a positive GSR test. In reaching a verdict, the court must consider the standard of proof for beyond reasonable doubt. While prosecution does not meet beyond all Wait. possible doubt, it does require a level of high certainty that the guilt of the accused based upon the evidence presented. In the verdict, <clears throat> well, the fuck does is find that this court finds Mr. Braun guilty Ain't of criminal possession no of a file. While wow, actually set up. No, no way, bro. Way. What? Actually set up. It is a judgment of this court that Mr. Braun is found guilty of criminal possession of a government-issued firearm. The verdict is rendered with full understanding of the gravity and responsibilities bestowed upon this court to uphold justice in the rule within our community. Hey. What? I, I, I gave my blood, sweat, and tears for this courtroom and for this justice system and for this burgeoning new government. And it has failed me. I have nothing further to say. Mr. Braun, I am sorry to unfortunately render this verdict to you as a colleague of mine. Based on what? There are no laws, Your Honor. This is kangaroo court. Evidence that has been presented in the lack of affirmative defense or alternative theories as to why what you had occurred with or what had happened with that weapon that you had. We, but we proved that his motive What? Uh, you argued the lack of men's ray and that he didn't actually have one. So you're saying the motive that you argued isn't exactly the motive that, frankly, you didn't establish. There wasn't a motive on either side. Yeah, I got it. Anyways. Wow. Well, I'm glad I wasted my time uh, trying to do some good in this community. Hey, we can still appeal, and I know, I know how to do it. Oh, we're, we're going to appeal the shit out <laughs> of it, We can still Ronnie. appeal. I, I, I know we can time, do it. I have an idea on what we can for play. For sentencing purposes, I will hear... 
Council Hall, your recommendation, as well as the fences. I got this. Wow, bro. Council Hall. Uh, sir, just give me one moment, Your Honor. JP won in the end? You dumb fuck. No, he didn't. That means he uh, can't Honor, appeal. The people you guys are dumb. A sentence of 180 months and a fine of $30,000. The fact. I got a recommendation like for Mr. Hall. You want to hear it? Murphy. Yep. Rami, do you want to do this? Or you want me to that is it? insane to me, bro. Uh, you got it, Sam. You want to understand that the people yeah, after, wait, after is waiting the all this standard... time just to get fucking cooked like this? That is crazy. Murphy. Hold on. Your Honor, we understand the people's basis of their baseline recommendation for the charge. I, I, we don't, we don't believe that that fits. Not only Chat. has there been a beyond the stressful situation when it comes doing this, to, uh, and so we can Mr. appeal Braun it. He gets and, found uh, not guilty, and then X appeals his, his charge and gets his I money back. That the facts of not the, that X gets his get back on Murphy. Like X already got um, his get back. He doesn't like, remember what for a month. possession is the basis. What from what we understand, the basis of the consideration for the. For you the guys don't even understand. You guys aren't understanding. We think that both the time in court, the time in interrogations, and the disruption of his life should should nullify, if not minimize, the time in. Holy fuck that fines are are mostly static and so we don't have an argument for that just based on standard standard uh, practice and jurisprudence but we do hope that th all this time in court and everything is considered for the time in jail Bro, i'm gonna keep it a stack. we think that the level of effort and uh <laughs> the time that uh mr braun has committed to Holy the city fuck. Uh, i don't think we its even, reestablishment like... should be considered and that he should be able to walk out of here even if the charge is on his record Say something, Your Honor. As head yeah, of bar. I, hope, I hope every judge wakes up with a fucking PD Glock tomorrow. Excuse your Honor, me. I'm gonna be honest. I, oh my God! Is, uh, hold on, I, hold I just on. Told I was gonna yeah, ask if I if I could say something as a sentencing recommendation as head of bar, if you would prefer me not to. Uh, we can discuss afterwards. Fair Here's enough. My with this. Frankly, Murphy, you still have to be processed. That, that's that is crazy you bro oliver didn't there. even think he was gonna win the Your case holy fuck! <laughs> oh my god now given the time and what we have spent here i would just recommend that anyway. that you do get processed you get laid out immediately afterwards in terms of the fine the fine i'm willing at this point to go half with that as soon as a fifteen thousand. Yeah, your honor can i say something yes you might Wait, this guy has been out of a job for a month because of this he's lost more than that He's lost. The, he's lost more than thirty than the whole fine of the entire. Uh, I've, I've, I've lost everything already. I, I can't lose anymore. I, I don't really even care about the details, Rami. Just, just don't worry about. It. This is insane to me, bro. Murphy, let us fight for you. For just, that's crazy. Just a little bit longer. Oliver didn't even think he was gonna fucking win. In no, I'm, 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 I'm getting on a fucking plane and just leaving this oh piece of shit my city. Oh God. Hey, ba hey Bailey. I hope you wake up tomorrow with a PD Glock, bro. Hope you, hope you know uh, how that feels real wow. soon. Thank you there for the call of comments, Harry. Bailey, that's Every insane. Time, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to close out this call. Any questions may be presented to me afterwards. I'll be up here for that. Wait, what's the fine? Is this guy getting fined? I fine? hope you get to go through this real My soon. My recommendation was uh, time serve and then 15K. Fuck the 15K. This guy lost everything, bro. Uh, Your Honor, can we just clarify that the order for the sentencing, was that a suggestion or was that an order from the court? It was time an order. Who would, yes. It would be, he still needs to be processed. He needs to be put into the system. Yes, sir. Put up there. Fingerprinted, etc. DNA on file. Then afterwards, he is to be released Bro. upon that. K is case. fucked. Understood. So time served. <laughs> oh my. Correct. Understood. Thank you, Your Honor. But still needs to be processed. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bro. All right. Well, we'll handle it. Anybody want to? Anybody want to give me a ride to the fucking airport? Well, we need to be processed first. So you can't. You can't do that because then you're gonna get escaping custody okay. and all well, kinds of stuff. Okay, Let's well, get they said, that, and then we'll they, they said okay. Well, they said time served, so get me my time served, and then I'm I'm yeah. I'm going to the airport. Yep, yeah, we'll take care of it. Officer, dude, gone. Blake, dude. We can you can you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You can yeah. I'm not. I've waited long enough for this day. I'm not fucking doing it again. You don't want me to appeal? Look, I'm I'm going to the airport. I'm I'm just leaving. When you, when you all are ready, we're ready over here. Lost everything. Fuck this. All I've done is try to fucking help people since I've been here. And this is what happens. 
This is actually fucking crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you. Holy fuck. This is crazy. Well, you have, you still have your bar. Are you surprised by yeah, this outcome no, or did you expect something like shit. that? I honestly 50 50. It's a violent hey, violent I need a question. Uh, this is not inherently Mr. Ball, you wouldn't have to know. Uh, uh, I mean, the, any termination would go to the Chief Justice, right? Look, I'm, I'm fucking I'm not a judge anymore. Like a bar? Are you talking well, about Murphy or what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Judge Bob. Take the time you need. We're gonna, we're gonna do the tiny little processing there's, here and I'll take you to the airport. I mean myself. Look, I don't need to. I don't, we'll make sure the Chief Justice. Nothing to process, or, nothing to talk about. That's it. That's the decision. Because we don't, we don't have laws and legislations in place that protect you from people excluding evidence like assholes. Hey there. Hey so, I'll yeah, you. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the guinea pig. Everything's gonna get better from here, and I get screwed. So that's that's that. That's that. That's the end of the story. We have a lot of time up here. It's this fine. Out a bit. Wait it out a little bit. It's fine. Don't give me advice. I don't. I mean, I'm gonna be real. Murphy can't really get upset at that ruling because that's the way he ruled the X, right? Don't tell me what to do. Get over. But at the same time, if Mr. K is I fucked. came in late. I can't. How, how, how did it go? This is this is what you get. M Mr. K is better. fucked. Fucked. The problem with this one versus X's one is that you can clearly tell based on the evidence, testimonies, and reports. You can clearly tell that Murphy was set up. Yeah. I don't yeah, know everybody's, how. Everybody's gonna wow. get blocked. Okay, you know. I'm it doesn't matter right if you're now. GSR positive, chat. GSR is only taken to a account of criminal use of a firearm, not possessing it. He's criminal possession of a firearm. It doesn't matter if the GSR is negative or positive. He's getting charged for possession of the firearm. If it was use of a firearm or attempt to murder, that's a different story. Public service. It don't matter if you shot the gun or not. If you're holding it, you're possessing it, right? That's crazy to me, bro. That's actually shocking. I didn't need to address it. That is insane, bro. Whatever they waste their time investigating, it's a fucking joke. Mr. You Bond. are a joke, and you are a joke. Yes, yes, Officer Jacob. I, per the judge's request. Hey, I'm gonna be real, man. Uh, uh, actually, this case is precedent setting, man. Like, I'm not gonna lie. This just leaves it open for a lot of other people to get planted. Shit planted on Here's what I'm going to say with this, Rami. And this is the part where it came into a lot of consideration. Is his mental state around this, his knowingly or unknowingly, Plus the ability uh, for him to recall events. Now, go back to the uh, the information in regards to his consumption of alcohol, first off. He said one he had two, two drinks. Yes, one to two considered. But he wasn't you know, inebriated. Did... Well, frankly, well, I don't know how... For everybody. I, I don't know how that affects him or does not affect him. But frankly, he still does not remember the events that happened. Right, so, so much, can, much can, I, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Right, and if if we're if we're the the point we're saying is that he got that Glock, uh, 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 uh planted on him, isn't the PD supposed to say no? That doesn't that that isn't the isn't the prosecution supposed to uh, say like how how he obtained the gun? You get what I'm trying to it's say? A, it's the possession. We're saying that he got the gun planted on him, right? Well, the PD is supposed to say, okay, well, he criminally possessed it. Like, how do you know? Like, we pointed, I don't know. Like, so, here's, here's the part to that. Is the GSR side to it. It doesn't matter if the GSR. They we're, we're, they we're arguing a possession charge. We're not arguing the use of a, far, of a firearm or not. Well. And, because that, and that was statute limited. Hold on, hold on. The fact that he was GSR positive, right? Within the context of what we live in, given that the 911 calls indicated that there is a hurt individual. There's a robbery that occurred with a deadly weapon. This guy's a fucking idiot. Yeah. That there was GSR positive did give them the right to actually search that. That then goes to, at that point, he is able to be searched, which he was. And he knowingly, well, unknowingly in his state of mind, did fire a weapon at some point.
Now, unfortunately, I don't have a reason that was presented to me, which would do you know what do you how exonerate him? I told you he was kidnapped. He still has a positive GSR there, Rami. His testimony literally stated that there was a guy pointing at him with a mask with a gun to him. His state of mind when he... I'll read you the direct. Hold on. Like... His direct statement was that it was daylight. He was around saying, as the individual washed out colors, remember seeing a gun being raised up, something blocking a person's face, mask or helmet, washed out. I don't remember it. That's the exact statement that he gave, Rami. No, he said he didn't remember about if it was a mask or something that was blocking him, but he remembers a guy putting a gun at him. And if you looked at the interrogation during the recess, he says the same exact thing in the, inter in the second interrogation with me. He says the same exact when we took that 10 minute recess to go through the interrogations, he said the same thing at the interrogation. I'll go by the second one just for you. This is a sonographer's notes. The first one was mine. This is the second one. This is from Kermit. When I asked if you could go into it, he says daylight. Believe it's stated in the report around sand, very bright, washed out colors. Remember a gun being raised up and something blocking the person's face. Okay. I don't know if it was a mask or helmet. Okay. That's from that's what I just said. Yes, I understand that. But what I'm telling you is neither of those provides any sort of context of the events that happened. What? How? Son, he literally just says, I don't remember literally anything else about it. He doesn't give any sort of motive with it. He doesn't say if it's in self-protection. What I'm telling you is that if there is a reason that he feels his life is in is danger, this guy fucking high? He, he is reaching, for example, the nearest. Bro, thing he got he shot can, in he the head. I understand this. All right. Well, I'm telling you, I don't have anything else other than that to go off of. I don't have a reason why he would be out there. I don't have. What do you mean? You reason. have the doctor report. Did you not look at all the evidence? Did you not you see the interrogations? Yes, Are you just going only off of Robbie. what happened in court? Robbie, I looked at everything. I, I I I find it mind boggling, Your Honor, that you sit here and tell you stand here and tell me that you you have nothing else to go off of. You have multiple witnesses saying that there was a kidnapping that's taking place. You have him saying that he got. You have no way to actually place him with the kidnapping. There was at no point established that he was a kidnapped individual. You had Mr. Luis Fernandez. That Congratulations, you ruined his fucking life, Bailey. Because I'll tell you what, during the recess, that is not my problem. During I the recess, that even I Oliver said that he's this should this should, should, should have been acquitted, which is an embarrassment. And so did Norman. Mommy. And so did Norman. Congratulations. Don't do his 50-50. No, you didn't, Norman. Don't lie in front of him. That's fucking crazy. Pathetic. Pathetic. That's crazy. That shit's getting appealed. Alright, well, let's go plant a gun on fucking Bailey. See how he likes it. Holy fuck. It's that easy to plant something on somebody.